there's bait in that bucket. Can't tell. I can't tell if there's uh, coyote prints or capone prints. There should be bait in that bucket still. Yeah. <laughs> we made it. We did. Nice. Nice ride in. Did you see the partridge overhead? No. There's partridge up in the trees that were that were going across the, the trail as I was running through. Oh, nice. And so, some of them were doing it just as I was going over the top. I'm like, whoa, That's look awesome. at them all. So, partridge in a pair. What lake do we want to fish? This one or the next one? This lake or the next one? I mean, do we strike out two times in a row in the same spot? Well, uh, and we go back, we'll run out, here? and get a couple traps out there. I'll fish here. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to put a couple in the same spots just so I'm fishing. Right, where you had those flags? Yeah, one on each end. And eventually I'll grind the other ones out. Definitely <laughs> needs a step. That's enough to get started. Yeah. Cool. Well, I'm going to go over it. Well, I don't even know if we have to drill some of those. Yeah, cool. I know. I'm, I'm not going to have to drill. But we definitely want to cover the bank a little harder. Yeah, cover the bank and some new holes. So if you want to leave your auger, you can. Really? This is like deja vu all over again. What's the soup du jour? That's the soup of the day. Mm, that sounds good. I'll have that. <laughs> <laughs> he got sucked off the trail once. He Said he had to counterbalance himself and he just reversed and come right out of it nice and easy and back on the trail. Good. Any feel in there? I feel something, but I don't feel big and heavy. Don't let it surprise you. Like I said, I had that one not even move yesterday. Nice one, anyway. Nice one. Let him go. Let him go. I don't want him to shake that. Nice, buddy. Nice, buddy. Work him in. Get his nose started. He's right there. He wants to snap it off, so watch out. He's holding it right off to the side, too. Let's go. Oh. Let's go. Oh. Abe, come on. Has he got some power? They're so strong, aren't they? I mean, he's not, he's not running, but he is head shaking like crazy. Up. Oh, no, oh. no, 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 no. Oh, yeah. he, did, he, his, he held his tail in the hole wow. to not stop him from coming up. His head was halfway up. Oh yeah, he's good and he's good and hooked. He's got everything back. He took all the line back. Nice spotted too, from the looks of it. There he is. Yep. He wants. He's, he ain't tired. He ain't tired yet. What do you think, old boy? Oh, you excited? Dream come true coming here. I ain't getting over the top yet because he doesn't want to even put his head near the hole right now. He knows this trick. Here he comes. Ready? Oh. Nope. Yep. And up. Yes. Oh, what, oh. A beauty. what a beauty. Oh. Look at the spots on that thing. Oh. 
Oh my god. So oh. I got a bag in there. Woo! Woo! Look at that. Oh, I appreciate you, buddy. 981. And did you get a measurement? No. Let's get a girth and a length if you want. Five and a half hour drive for this bad boy. And this isn't anything compared to what's okay. been taken out of this water, but this is a great first fish and a bucketless fish for me. And uh, I gotta, I gotta say it's worth every every mile we traveled for it. She's going back in the water now. Look at us. He wants to go. Oh, the colors on these Look things are amazing. Them. Musky, baby. See you later. See you later. Gonzo. See you later, big gator. That was a pretty cool uh, shot. He gone. Johnny. Hold it over the phone there. <laughs> Johnny. Don't lose it. I've done it before. Yes. My hands are slippery. Woo. First musky <laughs> ever. Oh. That so was worth it. Guys, we just got here. We don't even have all the traps set up yet. We made a tough decision to, we had several lakes to fish and we decided to come back to the same spot because we had some flags and we caught some, we caught a fish yesterday and it paid off. That was awesome. And, we, and the day is young. We got in here, what, an hour and a half early today, guys? Yeah, I wanna- Sorry, we're, I'm looking we got, at We got in here an hour right and a half. Now. We got in here an hour and a half early and we got that fish before we were even fully set up. We, but we had this, we had this game plan. Yep. We stuck to the game plan because we actually talked about switching the game plan a little bit, which I was kind of thinking the same thing because a little on the slow side yesterday. But I'm glad we went with our grud, our gut feeling, and come back and fish the same spot two days in a row. Hard to do. It's early morning, obviously options. an early morning. You know what and, I mean? And you had what two bites here yesterday in this hole? Yes. Two, yeah. yeah. Two two fish that were definitely yeah. there. Had to have been. <clears throat> hey, let's catch another one. Yes. <laughs> Johnny! You've got a lot of line going. A lot of line going? Yeah, it's actually moving faster than anything I've seen yet. Pretty steady. And then it stopped and then it started one more time. So it's definitely eating it. Here we go. Oh, yeah, she's right there. I got her in the box, though. Yep. No, nope, I don't feel nothing yet. There he is. Ooh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, me, honey. Big one? Oh, yeah. I'm worried about this, though. So. The gift of the scoop. Oh, I can feel him head shaking all the way down this line. Are you, are you burned in? You want me to push that off? I'm not okay? sure. I, it might be burnt in just the way it came down. Oh my, yep. You're clean now. Hopefully it's not hung up on something. Is he hung up? You get your pen off this though, find him and jig that line back up on the other side. You could do it. <laughs> I can feel him head shaking too. I can feel him pulling away. Yeah, we know which which direction he's going. You move the line at all? Like that way, right I feel a tree. That's a branch. What do you feel? It could be straight, like line. I mean, if there's enough out I there, it could be. I can feel head shaking. Yeah. So it's like, woo. Oh, 
How much line do you think is out, John? There should be 200 yards on that. 200 yards on each spool. Oh, he just shook. Oh, God. Yeah, he just shook there. Don't say that, Joe. He sounds, he feels big, doesn't he? I'd say they all feel big. 25 pounds. Yeah, he's at least 25. <laughs> well, um, we can. Let him, let him, it. let him be, I guess. Out. Yeah, see if he gets out of there. I mean, the you want to try to go over away. and punch oh, him? Oh, yeah, over. for sure. Yeah. I, I mean, I'd like to find out where he is, how far away he is. Let me figure out the direction a better for you. I think he's almost over that wheel track. All right, run back and grab the uh, auger pan off there. Yeah. Oh, everything's over there. Yeah. It might not amazing. be as far as we think. Definitely directly, 100% directly at your, because I can move the line side to side and look. Yeah. So it's definitely right at your fish, fish line. Yeah. I'd start somewhere right where the wheel tracks are. Yeah, yeah. Maybe that way, just a little bit. But right here? Like towards this way, yeah. More? You should be close. Right here. I'll get the pan optics going. There's a tree there, 40 feet back. See it? Yeah, that's where he is. There's definitely some structure there, 40 feet back. I think it's wicked shallow that way. Wow, it sure does. Well, this is that, this is that friggin', it comes up again and then goes back down to the channel. Yeah, can Just you- like on that other side. Can you pace off 40 feet, like towards the wheeler? Yeah. Towards the wheeler? Right at the wheeler, yeah. Alright, you went 50. You went 50. Come back 10 in right right in line. Yep, that's good. Yep, you're at 39 there. There is one rock or tree on the bottom here that's a little unsettling. It's 20 feet from me. There's like a rock or something. I mean, you'd see him swimming. All right, so this gets us over some structure there. I'll bring this over there and try it. Bring it right over. Thanks, bud. This was the 40 hit. We could go to down scan too, but yeah, what's that? That's what he's hung up in, I bet. See any movement on it? Yeah, let's look to the sides first. What's this? Whatever it is, it's something good size. Did it move? All right, so nothing left of us. Did that just move? That's yeah. your fish. Oh, let's see. Yank on it a little bit. Oh, there's a tree, see it? I think he's right in here. I want to say that's a tree. Like, see this? You don't see anything that shows the line going back, does it? No. I could put, I could put it on down view, but... Give it, let's, let's poke one more hole. Let's poke a hole 32 foot. See, I think that might be your fish. Like your line is under this tree and that's your fish. What's that right there? See that thing on the bottom there? Yeah. And then that fish just moved behind it. See the fish moving? 
You see that movement behind the yellow, like right? So this right there, and right, you're talking about right here? Yeah, but, but look for movement right there. Watch this. I'm not going to move this. Yeah. All right, let's 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 drill over that, and I'll go over and down shoot it. Definitely something big there. So that's 32 foot, and it is, I'm going to get you, your angle is pretty much right at the hole, 32 foot exactly. Yeah, if you drill it, I'll be able to tell you if, if you hit it or not. Drill it till it's square. Yep. I see movement behind whatever that is on the bottom, rock or tree. Yeah. Yeah, you you got it pretty much. It's if anything it'd be a foot further, but I'll I'll bring this over. You're within a foot. We'll go to down view here. Uh, let me look at it first. Let me just see if I can. Yeah, there's a big yellow spot right there. So that's, yeah, that's what I think it might be hung on. This is Ooh, big. Is that? That's big. Oh, that's probably him. That's the line probably. Move your line back and forth. Oh, well, if that's the line, then it's hung up. He's... It's hung up here. Yeah, on the very bottom. Yeah. Going straight down. Yeah, pretty much. Let me switch to down. There's your fish. I think, well. I'm sure it's tired by now. But... It's definitely in the shape of a fish. I know. <laughs> and it could be hung on this thing. You move it around. I'm trying. I don't want to pull too much. Yeah, don't, just, just bounce it a little bit. Do you think we can... Hook it with an airplane jig, the line. That's what I was thinking. It's possible. Swedish pimple or... Something with a treble. I, I, that airplane jig should be in my in my thing. You could put a sounder on that line and, and send it, yeah. and that might pop it off. Yeah, you know what? That's a good idea. That's a really good idea. Rip line. A sounder? And he's hung in that piece. Yeah, there's a log laying here, and this is either the fish or that is. Mikey's got his, uh, why, does he have any wire ties in? I got that airplane jig. You want me to drop her down? I yeah. mean, if we can get, if we can get your line past it, then you could fight the fish up this hole. Yeah. You know? You want another hole you Whatever you guys think. I might snag the tree, but that's all right. Uh -huh. I might snag the tree, but that's all right. Yeah. Freaking airplanes like all over whatever it is. That's the beauty of the airplane is it shoots left and right. Try that. You might be able to see the line too. Do you, do you know how far down you could see? He's still there. But now he's hung up again. There you go. Yeah, you're going to tie that up. Here, do it back here. It's worth a try, right? Yeah, all it's going to do is be another waypoint to yep. catch, but it may pop it free too. You never know. He should be able to catch the line on this one. It's worth a try. I've, I've used these before to get crankbaits out. I'll hold it tight when you send it. All you're gonna have to do is drop it. Then you get this bouncing down there and you might shake it off whenever it's on. Is it ready? 
All right, so send it. You ready? What do you want me to do? Nothing. Okay. Ready? Yeah. All right, there she goes. It is up high, you're right. What? You see the sounder? You see him? He was just right here. Where? No, the sound, yeah, it wasn't the sounder because I was close to me. So the sounder is definitely going to give you a, a little help popping that. He was up high, yeah. Do you see? Yeah, it was pretty high because the sounder's not even on the bottom. Did you see him, Johnny? Yeah, I, I, I felt like I did. Where was he? A bounce in the sounder. Yep. So it's going down. It is it's right here. There's a line. Shake it again. I'm shaking it pretty hard now. Yep. That's the line right there. So, so we need to go to the right even more. How far away was that showing? I'll have you come Okay. See what I'm doing? Yeah. Oh. That just got tight. I see it moving right here. The sounder or the fish? No, I see something moving. There's nothing touching anything in there. Big and lines moving. Is it moving now? I stopped. I stopped. Here. Now the sounder's bouncing hard. The sounder's down there now. Here. See how I'm just kind of... Yeah, I'm going to come over. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and I actually felt the fish again. I moved the fish like a foot. So what were you seeing, bud? So here's here's your line coming in. That's the line? This is your line coming in, and this this big mark right above it. Are you bouncing? Yeah. See this mark right here? Is that the fish? I, I think so. I don't know what that would be. Is this the sounder? That's your That's sounder. the sounder, so this is what we're hooked to. Oh, That's all right. All right, so we need to get two and a... There's a fish. Oh, moving, Johnny. Yeah, it's a big fish. Yeah. No, it's it's right into the log now. He's coming up. So whatever it is, it's right there below you that he's hooked up. He's stuck in the log. The log's moving. The log's moving. It's a giant. All right, he just went around the log. He's going around the log. I can feel him, buddy. The log's the log's actually moving. Big fish. Yeah. The sounder's just on the edge of the log. Don't break them, Johnny. Whatever you do, we can get this fish. So we need a hole drilled. Oh, he just came free. He just came free. You're fighting him. You're fighting him. You're fighting him. Coming. <laughs> it's a little guy, but it's a musky. <laughs> Woo! We did it. Yes. Yeah, we did it, guys. Mission oh impossible. We just did that. That was awesome. We actually just drilled like maybe what only eight or nine holes yeah pan optics garmin thank you El for Sounder. an unreal <laughs> friggin product because we would have not got this fish he would have died it, stuck to that log by finding it oh my god that is unreal wow wow 35 minutes straight kid what a pretty okay. fish look at that thing that's hey, awesome you got that undone I got the teamwork. You guys make a heck of a team. That's awesome, though. That sounder must have been just enough weight to get it bouncing. That sounder's a trick, work. man. I'm telling you, I've done that. All right, you guys ready? All right, I'll pull a still from that later. Nice. Good work. Good work, guys. Very nice. That was fun. That was exciting. That is awesome. <laughs> How exciting was that? I was I'm, so excited I'm to amazed. watch him swim around that I'm log. Amazed. This is the kind of thing we talk about doing that never works out. Right. Like, oh, uh, you know what? How many times have you been hooked up and you're like, I'm going to drill a hole all the way out to where the fish is. But to actually do that 
And when you think about it, it's like that's so much work and it's such a shot in the dark. With pan optics, live scope, airplane jig, you can see the line through the water 40 feet across and you can grab it with the airplane jig or this method. The sounder. Joe comes up with a sounder method. Abe, Abe basically got the fish free. Yeah. So it's like 50% his fish. Oh boy. But it's kind of his fault because he let it run so long. He should have taken it to begin with. So. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Johnny, that was awesome. It was an awesome fish. There's a fish on there. Fish on! Fish on! Whew, my flag didn't go up. Good thing I checked. Up. What? Yeah, I've been pulling on him for about 10 minutes. Feels alright. There he is. Yep, he's decent. Yep, he's big. He's big. Oh, yes. Yeah! Oh, Woo! Oh, Look at that one! Word, that is gorgeous looking fish. I don't know why the flag wasn't up. Maybe I rigged it like a heritage. Look at that one! We got it on camera. Look at that one. Wow. Dude. Whoa, look at the power. Oh. Woo. Watch your feet. Yeah, I went to, do, I, I put the pan optics over there and I was like, how come I can't see my bait? I was like, that's weird. So I spun it and I still couldn't see the bait. And I was like, let me go check that trap. It's not, <laughs> the thing, I Dude. picked it up and it spun and the flag didn't come up. And I'm like, what the heck? He's got to be close to 10, right? Oh, yeah. What a fight. I thought he was hung up, but he wasn't. There you go. Oh, my God. Look at those teeth. Those are way worse than a pike. You see it? Yeah. I think yep. you can see it. Yep. I'll hold out. He did a number on this 30 pound. On this wire. I would have never landed him on fluoro. Got it? Got it. This is good, too. That's my biggest muskie I've ever caught. Wow. Joe, what a fish. Beautiful, huh? You guys got him? Yeah. You guys ready? Oh, jeez. All right. He's trying to, there we go. He's got so much power. Look at the colors on this guy. There he goes. See you later. See you later, big gator. Wowzers. What do you guys think? That was beautiful. On. Getting stuff ready to go, huh? Yeah, the sucky part of the trip. Yeah. Well, we're getting slushed out pretty hard out there. It's been pretty warm, so, and it's a river. So we dragged all the equipment and all the gear over here to the exit point. So it's here and not gonna get too slushed up or we won't have to pull a lot of weight across and we're getting ready to go, but we're gonna keep the traps in to the last minute, hoping for one more flag, hoping for one more fish. One more fish. Just one more fish. One more fish. We're gonna push it as late as we can. We got about an hour, 45 minute ride out of here, maybe a little quicker if we hammer on it, but whereas we got all the gear, we'll go a little easier. So we'll push it a little late tonight. Um, you may have noticed we're down one man today. Mikey couldn't make it out. Back problems. Yeah, he's sore. This isn't this isn't easy country out here, though. No, the ride yeah. ends a mogul field, and and it's just a long day. You know, a long day, six, five, six hour drive to get up here first off. Yeah. So just to start. Yep. So we lost one man. He's staying at camp. 
and the three of us hammered on it pretty hard today. Had a great day so far. So two, far. two PBs already. Oh. Maybe one more coming up. Hopefully. Good luck, bud. Drive safe. Is that low gear? Yeah. He sunk in. Ooh. He wiggled. Going. Oh, shoot. Going. Shoot. Still moving. Damn it. Rope. We'll have to do the rope and pull him up, you think? I don't know. Maybe. What do you think? Good job, dude. That little bit of pushing helped. That'll be it. All right, bud. We'll see you out there. Yep. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Off a little. Yeah. Good push. <sighs> Good pushing. Okay. Oh. Abe headed out a little earlier than us because he's got that big wheeler with the tracks and he can't go very fast. And Johnny and I are going to push it a little bit tonight and go till dark. And we got half a mind each to maybe try to come out in the morning tomorrow. Fish just a quick morning out here, see if it's worth it if we get up at like 3 in the morning and kind of push it in here and get in here before dark and see if we can hit that morning bite. These muskies seem to be eating in the morning only. We fished pretty late last night, but not quite till dark. Primarily, you know, the only fish we caught yesterday was pretty early and we lost I broke one off early and he lost two early too so everything's been early it's been a morning bite for the most part and then a couple flags around two each day without catching the fish so if we can work that morning in tomorrow we might be able to add a half day to this trip and really push it before we got a six hour plus drive home you would have struggled I would have yeah yeah oh yeah I think I'll be I all was, right. I was giving it everything. Oh no, you'll be good to go. Tell me that's rolling. Oh, oh that is something. That's a fish. That's got to be a fish. <laughs> There's no way the bait's doing that now. The thing is, I would imagine that this smell. Oh, there it is. That's fish. Look, just rip. I'm not even joking, dude. Oh my god, I'm up telling. I copy, brother. I'm all set, out on good trail. You not, we have a fish on. Fish on. Awesome. Good luck. Yeah, yeah. Are you uh, past the bridge already? Yes, I'm almost back to the regular ITS trail. What that just did was not a smell. It just did a Yeah, you probably triggered a bite. Look at the heat coming off that ice. We gotta think it over. I wanna come in so bad. But we also gotta be well, smart. Look, look, look how low light might be a low light thing. Yeah. That way. Is Straight it really? that way. Like under the ice that way. Nice. A little bit of excitement late in the day. Oh, it's getting cold. I think we might be all right tomorrow. Think so? Look at this friggin' setting, though. Oh my god, it's beautiful. How lucky are we to live in Maine? Oh my word. All right, end of the day, end, end of the second day, Johnny. End of day two. Johnny caught his first and biggest muskie, got, ended up getting two today. I did. 
Phenomenal, Five. phenomenal. Day. We are incredibly blessed to live in this amazing state where we can pull double digit fish on our second outing. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. That, it doesn't get any better than that. Wow, we thought you'd have been back an hour or two ago. It's insane. Oh. You should have called us. Well, I he had. I, I, use a half, I use a half a tank of gas coming out. Oh my word. We gotta, we, if we're gonna go tomorrow, we gotta go get gas right now. Yep. Probably gonna have to go to Fort Kent. Okay. Yeah, let's, let's look at the weather. Struggled with that four wheeler? Yeah. Half a tank of gas coming out. You must have been wide open. We heard you for like a half hour running. It was literally top speed, well, of course it's half of On the speedometer. 30. Three or four miles an hour on top speed. Really? I had all I could do to get up a lot of those hills. There was a tortoise on one of them hills. He was like, <laughs> How's it going, buddy? Really? <laughs> Walking? Yeah, he passed me. <laughs> yeah. Walking? A tortoise. Oh, a tortoise. Oh, I thought he said a tortoise. No. I thought he did do yeah. A tortoise. A tortoise. A tortoise. Oh, I, um, okay. Us out here, I guess. I guess I speak a because I knew exactly what he was talking about. Well, that's gonna do it for this trip. Always the worst time of any trip is when you have to pack up and go home. So we're all packed up. We're we got a good six-hour drive ahead of us. All in all, phenomenal trip. Got to see my first muskie. Got to catch my first muskie, and I even got to catch a bigger muskie. So I got a I got a PB set. Just under 10 pounds. Johnny got his first muskie. He's set right got, in the same range. Caught a few muskies. Yep. Caught a, caught a bunch of smelts. That was a whole lot of fun. Smelts and little yellers. Yeah, a bunch of yellers. But the trip, you know, we got up here and what we did basically with this trip, it was a feeler trip. It was a early scouting mission for future trips. So, you know, now we have an idea what to do when you get up here and, and we could go from there and try to put the right group together to come up and hammer it. want to thank you guys for tuning in as always and look forward to the next episodes. We're losing ice quick. Mikey, what do you think, bud? Oh, it was an awesome trip. I'm glad I came. And uh, just because I didn't catch anything, well, caught a par perch. Yeah. But I'll be back. Yeah, and that's the thing. You don't have to catch fish to have a great time. If oh, you're absolutely with, if not. You're with friends and absolutely in new not. areas. And it was a great time. Yeah. I'm glad you got to come. Oh my god, thank you guys for inviting me. <laughs> Holy crap. Made my week. Just because you know our uh, founding father, or our founding father uh, ditched us. Old Danny. Old Danny. Yeah. Well, on his behalf. Yeah, yeah, I know. He's he's working he hard. He had a meeting with a potential big sponsor to build us our ADA compliant camp up to uh, Roxbury this spring. So That's a decent excuse. Yeah. We'll let him off the we'll hook. We'll let this it time. go this time. Yeah.